we've reached a bit of a critical juncture here where we really have to address the transplanting of the shishitos into their own growing vessel and get our cucumber plants, our corintos, moved over to this location where we'll grow them out to fruition. This is the growing vessel that we will be using for the shishitos. It's a five gallon tote from Lowe's. We used it previously for both lettuce and bok choy. So it already has the appropriate size holes cut out. What we intend on doing is taking some scrap insulation material to use as a light barrier and creatively affixing it to the top of this to help block out the light and help prevent algae growth during the growing process. These are the pieces that we have left over from other projects. I hated to throw them out, spent good money for it. So we'll just creatively affix them to help as I said, block out the light and hopefully prevent as much algae as we can in the process. Far from being high tech, this will accomplish our goal and keep out a lot of the light and help cut back on the amount of algae that could potentially grow within the chamber. I'll get to work now in putting about four gallons worth of room temperature water into the vessel and we'll add six teaspoons of General Hydroponics Maxi Bloom um, to support proper growth and eventual fruit set for the shishitos. Um, and we'll come back as we're ready to start setting the plants into the chamber. Now we'll go ahead and add our Maxi Bloom 51514. Um, again, our chosen ratio is 1.5 teaspoons per gallon, this being roughly four gallons. So it's going to require six teaspoons, which is the equivalent of two tablespoons and the enclosed scoop that came with the formula has both a tablespoon side and a teaspoon side so we'll utilize the tablespoon side and apply two tablespoons to the water. There's one. There's two. And we'll give it a good blending and get to planting. You will notice that each plant's roots vary slightly, sometimes not so slightly, in length and in volume. And that's perfectly okay. They're all individuals just like us. We have topped each of the plants to help encourage branching and to also keep them at a more manageable size. You can see the drastic difference in roots. Lovely air roots, limited nutrient roots, but that's okay. They will fill in in time. And it really is that simple. We were going to Put these into an aerated deep water culture DWC setup, but we're opting to just go with Kratky. We have fantastic results with Kratky and peppers, so we figured we'd just keep this one simple. We certainly have enough airline tubing going around right now to keep our other DWC systems going, and we figured one less area to trip over. Um, and so yeah, we're going to keep it Kratky. So now these three remain. We have two Tangerine Dream and one King Star Lingria. They're going to go into individual quart pots and um, continue along their merry way, hopefully producing in the not too distant future. And then we can clear out this area for the Corinto cucumbers.
That's our King Star Lingria. Next up is one of our Tangerine Dreams. And one more for our Tangerine Dreams. Um, this is totally inappropriate for the long term, but Daniel is currently, as we speak, painting one for me, a dark color to block the light. But I really just want to continue with what I'm doing, so. This little guy is going to get a temporary home in a transparent container here. And that's okay. It is very short term. I'll get them set in place and we'll take a quick parting shot to show you what's up. And there we have it. Our three newly transplanted pepper plants in their new growing environment for now we'll see how things get rearranged as we watch our cucumber plants grow and take over this entire shelf unit Daniel intends on picking up a 12 gallon tote at one of the big box stores the next day or so so that we can get these Corinto cucumbers into their permanent growing vessel on our taller shelving unit so that we can gently guide them upward as they continue to grow. They have really taken off in the last week um, much more quickly than we anticipated and that's okay because we'd really like to get rid of our Excelsior plant which is grossly underperforming at this point in time and I just feel it's a waste of electricity to keep lights going over there on a plant that's hardly producing. So anyway, we'll keep you posted. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.